Hi, in this video, we're going to look at how to add physics to a 2D game in Unity. We're going to be looking at two things, rigid bodies and colliders. Uh, we can see in this uh, scene, I've added some more objects to the scene since the last video. So I've added some platforms, uh, some trees, some grass, uh, gems, boxes, and other objects to build up this uh, platformer game. And I've also resized some of the objects as well to fit in, uh, to fit better in the scene. So you can see I have the, the player object here, the astronaut, just above the platform or ground. And at the beginning of the game, when it starts, when this level starts, I want the player to spawn uh, just above the ground, and then I want the player to fall and, and hit the ground. So it can start moving, land on the ground. So if I click play, and just see what this scene looks like at the moment, when the game begins. Okay, and we can see at the moment the astronaut's just stuck in the air there. So the astronaut's not falling, hasn't hit the ground yet. So what we need to do is, is to add some, some physics to this game so that the player can be able to fall. Um, so we can have mass and, and gravity in the game. And uh, also so then later on we can start getting the player to move as well. So in order for the player to be able to, to fall and to move, what we're going to need to do is add a rigid body component to the player. So I'm going to click on the player object, the astronaut here. And over on the right hand side here in the inspector panel, you should see a button that says add component. So just click on that. Oops, just clear that. Okay. And so when you click on the add component button, you'll see a bunch of different options here. There's different things that we can add like audio if we wanted to add a sound effect um, or um, a script as well if we wanted to add some code that's attached to this object. Lots of different things in there. What we'll need to do, because this is a 2D game, uh, we'll need to go to Physics 2D. All right, and scroll down until you see Rigid Body 2D and click on that. You can also just search for it in this uh, search box as well. We'll select Rigid Body 2D. And when you add the rigid body 2D uh, component, you can see there's a bunch of different properties there like mass. So we can increase the mass of the astronaut if we wanted to. Um, there's also gravity scale as well, um, which we, can, we could increase as well. Uh, so there's a few different properties there that we can change. So now just to test this out, I'll click play to run the game. And we should see that the astronaut starts to fall. Okay, so. The astronaut fell, uh, but the problem is that the astronaut kept falling. So it fell through the ground and just kept falling and now it's disappeared out of our, our scene. So to stop that from happening, to uh, stop the, the player from just falling through the ground, what we're now going to need to do is to add colliders, uh, also known as hitboxes. So we'll need to add a collider to both the player object and to the platform uh, and any other platforms as well that we want the player to be able to uh, land on or hit and, and stop. Okay, so on the player object, what I'm going to do is uh, go down to add component again, physics 2D, and I'm going to add a collider. And you can see there's quite a few different colliders here to choose from. So there's box collider, capsule collider, circle collider, uh, there's an edge collider, We've got polygon collider. So it depends on what shapes you're working with. If this uh, player object was a ball and we wanted the ball to bounce and, and roll around, then we'd add a circle collider. If uh, the player was a boxy or square shape, uh, then we might add a box collider, which is up here. Okay, what I'm going to do though, because this player is a, it's not, uh, squares is quite an intricate shape here. We've got legs and arms, things like that. So what I'm going to do is go down to Polygon Collider, which will actually trace around the shape of the sprite. Okay, so we can see these green lines here. That's the actual collider or um, the hitbox. Okay, now what we need to do is also add a collider to the platform. So I'll click on the platform. The platform doesn't need a rigid body because we're not making the platform move. It's not gonna fall or land on things or bump into things or anything like that. So it doesn't need a rigid body, but it does need a collider. So we'll click on add component, physics 2D and add a collider. And this time with the platform, 
We could either add a polygon collider, which will trace around the shape of this platform as well, or we could add a, a box collider, uh, or we could even add an edge collider. So a box collider will just be the shape of a box, and an edge collider is just a straight line. If I click the edge collider 2D, you can see there's a green line here, and that's the actual collider. Uh, there's a button over here next to edit collider, which you can click on, and when you do that, you can actually change where the collider is. All right, so we can click and drag each end of this line to um, shorten it or extend it and to move its start and end points. Okay, so we've got a green line there. That's the collider. And so when the player falls, it's gonna hit this line here and stop. Okay, let's test that out. Okay, so the player falls and then uh, stops on the platform because we've got an edge collider there stopping the player from falling through. Um, let's just have a look at some other colliders as well. So when you add a component to an object um, in your scene, you can edit that component's uh, properties over here, but you can also remove the component as well. So there's three little dots here next to the edge collider 2D that I just added. I'm gonna click that and then click remove component. I'm gonna go back down to add component and this time uh, I'm just gonna show you uh, a box collider as well. So if I click that, we get quite a big box there actually. Uh, so what I'm gonna to need to do is click on edit collider. And this time with a box collider, I can resize it by dragging one of these four sides in. Just there's a little, little square there on each side here that you can click on to uh, click and drag it and uh, resize it. Okay, so that means that we've got a hip hitbox going all the way around this shape rather than just a line on top. All right, so we've got a hitbox all around it. So that's a box collider. Uh, or if I remove that component, I can add uh, maybe just a polygon collider instead. So if I choose polygon collider 2D, we can see the hitbox there, but it's actually traced nicely around the object. So I'm just gonna keep it as a polygon collider. Okay, so let's test that out. There we go. So the player object falls again and lands on the platform there on that polygon collider. So basically what we need to have here for interaction between two different objects, at least one object needs to have a rigid body component. So the object that's gonna be moving around, gonna be falling, um, going to be bumping into other things. That's the object that's going to need the rigid body. All right, so any kind of object that needs to have properties like mass and um, needs to be impacted by gravity and drag, that's the object that's going to have the rigid body component. But both objects, so the object that might be moving around uh, or falling, things like that, and the object that it's going to be interacting with, maybe pushing um, or maybe um, landing on like a platform, they're both going to need a collider. All right. And you can choose which type of collider uh, is appropriate for the shape of the object. All right. If um, this, if I was adding another object here, like a box, and I wanted the player to be able to move the box, push the box out of the way or something like that. So this box up here, if I wanted the player to be able to move that box, um, then I would also add a rigid body component to that as well. Okay, uh, one other thing I'm gonna show here is if I tilt the platform, so I'm gonna select this platform here and grab the rotate tool and just rotate it like that. And I'm gonna move it over a little bit like that. Okay, and click play to see what happens. What we should see here is the player will land on the platform, but now because it's on an angle, the player should start to roll off and, and flip like that, okay? Now, depending on what type of collider you have, if, if we had a box collider around the player, then it would kind of roll like a box, or flip over like a box maybe, or maybe just slide down the platform. But if we had, uh, say, a circle collider around the player object, let's say the player object was a ball, uh, then it would roll instead. It would bounce and maybe roll down the platform, okay? Now, if you wanted to prevent this from happening, 
If we wanted the player to stay on their feet and not fall over like that, we can select the player and we can go to the rigid body 2D component and just, you should see constraints here, which you can click the little arrow to reveal and you can tick the box next to freeze rotation uh, on the Z axis there. So now if we click play, the player is going to land on this platform. Uh, it's a little bit slow starting the game. It's going to land on the, the platform, uh, but not actually roll down and fall over. And that's because we're freezed rotation on, on the Z axis. Okay, so that's basically how to add the rigid body component and colliders to objects in a scene in Unity. Just um, to sum up there, so when we're wanting objects to interact with each other in Unity, if we want an object like a player to be able to move around, it's going to need a rigid body and a collider. If we want an object to just be able to um, be hit by another object, such as a platform, then all it needs is a collider. Um, but if we want that other object as well to be able to roll around and um, and move and things like that, then it would need a rigid body as well so that we can give it mass and, and say how much gravity there is and, and that kind of thing. All right, we're going to be looking at uh, rigid bodies and colliders more in the next few videos as we start to add movement to the game and, and jumping and things like that. And um, we'll also be looking at how to make objects bounce or how to increase or reduce uh, drag, things like that. That's it for this video though. Thanks for watching.